Hey Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, just a quick video to let you know if you are using Microsoft Edge, that Microsoft has removed the ability to stop Copilot from automatically opening in the sidebar. And just to let you know about this change, because as you may well know, up until this change, um, Microsoft Edge could open Copilot automatically in the sidebar. And this was useful for like page summaries and tasks that Copilot could handle on the active page without you having to actually open Copilot manually. Now, if we head over to the settings uh, in Microsoft Edge, and this is across the board. So this is affecting the stable version and all the preview versions. And we head to sidebar. Copilot, there used to be a setting on this page. There used to be four settings on this page. And the one they've removed was just under Show Copilot. And obviously it's been removed, but what it used to be was and say is automatically open Copilot in the sidebar. And the description used to read for the setting here that's been removed now. We'll automatically open Copilot in the sidebar to show you relevant web experiences alongside your web content. So that's the setting that has been removed. So um, this setting has been removed from all versions of Edge um, as mentioned. So even if I head over to the preview version, Edge Canary 129, which is the latest preview version, you can see the same applies. The setting has been removed. So if you were using this, um, obviously this could be a step backwards. and But now it just means though that if you weren't using this feature, basically um, you've lost the ability now to stop Copilot from automatically opening in the sidebar. So it will open automatically if it does find itself on an active page for as, I mean, as the example I gave for like summaries and tasks. Um, without you having to open it manually. So you could find Copilot opening automatically and because now that setting has been removed. So I'm just putting it out there um, if you were using the feature or in case you're unaware. And at this stage, it seems like this is a server-side update and not attached to any specific edge update that has rolled out. And bringing that to your attention in case you are using Microsoft Edge. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.